Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Krause and this is our second video on our graphing and data analysis tutorial, which is part four of unit one. Okay, so part D of the tutorial asks us if I'm given a chart or graph, how should I analyze the data? I have a couple suggestions for that. Um, the first one is to make sure that you read the title and your axis labels for a graph. Or, if it's a chart, read the title and row or column headings. One other thing you may want to look at is if the graph specifically has a key or legend. Okay. Something you also might want to do is to try to identify your independent and dependent variable. Now for step three, you're reading the question. Some people choose to do that before 1 and 2, and some people choose to do it after 1 and 2. It doesn't really matter. Um, and when you're analyzing a charter graph, some terms that you'll probably need to know is maximum or optimum means the highest or best value, and minimum means the lowest value. Okay, so let's look at some practice problems. Okay, the first one asks, based on the data in the graph to the right, the temperature of water at 25 minutes is what? So I'm going to look, so I chose to do step three before one and two, and that's fine. So now I'm looking for a water temperature at a particular time. When I look at my graph, I see my title it says heated water temperature change, and that doesn't really give me that much information, so I'm going to look at my axis labels. I have heating time on my x-axis and the change in temperature on my y-axis. So I'm looking for the temperature of the water at 25 minutes. So I'm going to go to 25 minutes of heating time, and I'm going to kind of estimate what my value on the y-axis would be, and it looks like it's about 45. Now, something that's really important is to pay attention to your units, because you have two options, C and D, that are 45, but only one of them is the correct unit, degrees Celsius. So the correct answer for this one is, wait for it, D. For our next problem, they tell us the information to the right was collected in the field while studying the effective pH on the growth of the duckweed plant. The data shows that duckweed has an optimum growth at a pH of, so I've read my question, I'm looking for the pH where duckweed has its best or highest growth, okay, so then I can look at my chart, I look at my title, field data, that gives me nothing. So I look at my column headings. I have four different ponds, and for each of the ponds, they tell me the pH of the pond water and the number of duckweed plants. So number of duckweed plants must be our indicator of the growth of the duckweed. So let's look for the pH where we have the most duckweed plants growing, and it looks like the most duckweed plants grow when we have a pH of 8. So the correct answer here is going to be C8. Notice for both of these questions, I chose to read the question first to kind of identify what I was looking for. Then I looked to my chart or graph. I looked at the title. I looked at the axis labels, or in the case of the chart, I looked at the column headings. Okay. So this is the end of our videos on data or graphing and data analysis. <laughs> Sorry. So thank you very much.